Okay, so I would like to give you the status of uh, Dasharo Toolsuit, uh, what's going on with this project. So I will start with short introduction. I guess like I will not repeat what I said uh, um, during the last Dasharo user group. Uh, and then what's happened with, between version 1.21 uh, and 1.28. And there are even new versions coming. I already saw some release candidate for 1.29. Um, so Dasharo Toolsuit um, is our Swiss Army knife uh, Linux distro uh, for deploying the um, the Dasharo, uh, plus doing some var some some stuff with the firmware. So we have modern uh, Flash ROM there, modern modern Intel ME tools, sometimes patched with our own um, improvements. Uh, whole code is is open source, is on our GitHub. So if someone wants, uh, can uh, can audit that. And uh, and if you want to learn more, there is a Bitly link here, Dasharo Toolsuit. Uh, with the link to the uh, to this Dasharo Toolsuit section from the previous um, Dasharo user group, where I explain uh, vision and and plan for for this distribution. Uh, so since last uh, meeting, uh, we were able to do some silent releases without announcement, without like uh, noise, with even without the information on Dasharo universe. Uh, on the Shadow Universe, you could saw that there was 1.26, which was some beta preview release uh, for, for, for some users, and then 1, uh, 1 to 8, uh, which is like fully featured validated release, uh, which I will discuss on further slides. slides. But let's go through history because 1, 1 to 8 it contains uh, all these improvements from the previous versions. So we can see 16 June, we did. Uh, Quite a lot of releases one day. We added Jasper Lake support for Core Boot Utils, Alder Lake support, um, uh, and and uh, we also enabled in BusyBox uh, DevMem application so we can access memory. This is useful for uh, porting and for debugging purposes. Um, then uh, in uh, one one to four, we added the ME cleaner. Uh, of course, ME cleaner got this limitation of being able to clean the ME on, only for the older version. Of the ME, uh, but who knows? There are some, there is some development. Maybe things will move forward uh, with the uh, uh, with, with some improvements. Like we're still waiting for someone picking up that project for some reason. Um, uh, the the original author do not invest too much in it right now. Um, then we realized that we have some bugs in the Dell uh, BIOS update procedure. Uh, so there there was some. I guess I, either broken links or either like in, uh, we were unable to fetch from the their website the BIOS binaries from which we take the uh, take some components uh, to deploy those on the Optiplex, um, but that was fixed. Uh, and then in one to six we added nine elements TXT suit uh, because of the development of Trash Boot anti made and need for the for this tool which help us uh, diagnosing if uh, Intel TXT is correctly. Configured. In one to seven, uh, we added zero touch initial deployment for the Z790 MSI. Um, this is uh, this also enabled us to do these deployments for uh, the Dasharo entry subscription users. Um, we also had to do some fixes, improvements to make sure that the version one one two of uh, Z690 also worked for those users. So we did these improvements. Um, and uh, we added core boot, um, um, we added Raptor Lake support for core boot utils. Um, and there are some UX improvements, but we are still far from what we would like to see. Uh, and our kind of small dream is to have interface looking like maybe Mr. Chromebox uh, user interface for the flashing tool. Yeah, and of course, like another problems with the uh, packages, but this was also fixed. Finally, we, the one to eight was was kind of uh, mature enough. Uh, we check for SMM protection before flashing, so there will be no some weird uh, errors issues during the flashing process or partially partially flashed firmware. Um, so one to eight is is published. You can download it from the website, uh, verify signature, and and use it for uh, deployment. Um, yeah, bugs everywhere. Um, we, we are aware there are like quite a lot of feature requests and bugs on reported on, uh, regarding DTS. Um, for some use cases, use cases it wo works quite well, but there are some corner cases, let's say, or some 
um, unpredicted by us behaviors of users that trigger some some uh, uh, some problems. And this is something that we would ask you to report uh, so um, we can fix that in further versions. Um, there are there are some problems with hardware checks. We have uh, some uh, reports that uh, someone uh, flash uh, flash uh, the 111 version uh, on unsupported processor, like with unsupported processor, processor in that way they locking themselves uh, out in the platform. So they have to have some way of recovering it and that's that's problem. Yeah? Uh, the, the easiest way is to uh, swap the processor to the compatible one and boot and then uh, revert. Uh, but the problem is if someone don't have processor, they need a program. look like right now um then uh then there is also a way if someone wants to just try the dashara tool suit and see how you know you can play with it uh you can use it in qmo um so in issue 338 you can check how to run the shadow tool suit in qm of course like not much will work there but uh, you can experiment and and test this, this test this system um Okay, there is there is like Planet version two, but we don't know when the, when this. Of course, the date here is twenty seven, so yesterday, but it was not released, and we don't know when the number of bugs uh, completed is twenty one percent. And I hope this will uh, move forward. The, one of the goals of this release is uh, to really make good UI uh, to improve error um, um, error handling. Um, and also to provide a zero zero touch initial deployment for other platforms. I don't know if they're precision because like it's delayed in the on the roadmap, uh, but who knows? Maybe uh, maybe also this one. And of course, like QA. Hello. Okay, that's. I'm sorry for that. Like, probably that's my my part. I, but I don't know how this happened. Like, this is very like weird instability. Um, it's just your part, since looking at the uh, connection uh, uh, data, sometimes also for me it shows uh, it uh, hovers between uh, non-optimal and bad and poor. Although now it shows good, but, so I don't know. Uh, it's possible that uh, there's also uh, some uh, additional load on the uh, Jitsi servers. Check if um, uh, if given devices uh, auto. Uh... Hello.
Okay, do you hear me now? And I guess like, you lost my presentation. Hello? I said that I can also hear you. Yeah, yeah, but I, I guess like half of the presentation was not not presented, to, to be honest, yeah? yeah I'm checking if uh, there's issues with GST servers in the meantime, if I can. Okay. Yeah, but maybe this is not GC, uh, but but some connectivity or some like yeah, like Jan said, uh, some one instance of the Firefox can destroy or some weird instance can destroy whole uh, setup. I don't know, like much. Uh, so presentation, how 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 big part of presentation was really presented? Okay, shall I repeat that one? And then we can like, okay. Yeah, this one. Um, so I guess like uh, we, we didn't deliver that release uh, despite the date here is 27th. Uh, we have like 21% completed. The main goals of this release uh, are to uh, create shiny, beautiful UI, probably closer to M Mr. Chromebook's um, uh, user experience, uh, plus some error handling, correct error handling. Uh, it would be great to have some logo, but uh, that's, uh, let's say, like nice to have feature. Um, the very important thing for us is to have QMO image in which, uh, in which we can test all the features. Uh, so we can have CI, which automatically tests Tashar Toolsuit if we didn't get hit the regression, and based on that, build uh, build features and make sure that newer versions do not break anything uh, for new users uh, or with some uh, with some configurations. And zero touch initial deployment for new platforms is also something that that coming. Um, yeah, I don't know when when we will deliver that. I hope this year. I hope maybe by next uh, Tashar user group, I can just share with you that we have version 2.0. Okay, what about uh, roadmap? This is the same uh, what I said last time. I guess the most exciting thing um, is, is the uh, zero touch initial deployment for firmware as is. So the concept here is that we booting the Dashara tool suit and then uh, it can gather the information about the hardware um, and based on that information can create a reasonable uh, core boot config, which can be then uh, provided as an input to the build system, to the core boot build system. And then if, when that binary is built, uh, we can use that DTS to flash that, uh, flash that core boot. And of course, hopefully it will boot, uh, boot the platform, not break the platform. Yeah? Um, that, that would be the best because I guess the big gap for core boot adoption is exactly this is exactly uh, this um i don't know how to compile i don't know how to configure and then i don't know uh, how how to deploy yeah and uh, the shadow tool suit could solve could solve that yeah i guess that's that's it